Welcome back to another LMI demo video. Today we'll show you how to use two laser line profilers in an opposing layout to measure the height of a lithium ion rechargeable battery. This is similar to the cell you would find inside of an electric vehicle battery array. All right, so looking at our browser interface, we can see the sensors have been configured in an opposing layout. The first step is aligning our sensors. And we do this because even though the sensors come factory calibrated, so the units are displayed always in millimeters, we still need to tell the sensors where the other sensor is. By going to live mode here and turn the sensors on and show what my profile information looks like, you can see in red is the information from one sensor, in blue is the data from the other sensor, and it's not being combined quite right. So that's why we're going to do an alignment using this alignment target. It's a bar with a hole in it. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up my active area so that I'm only seeing the uh, part of the bar and the hole in the bar. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to do this for both my top sensor and my bottom sensor. And then I'm going to go ahead and align them using this bar. It's going to be moving on my linear stage, and I've already entered the dimensions of the bar here. All right, so if everything works well, the system tells me it's now aligned, and I can check that by looking at the transformation values for both the top and the bottom sensor. What this does is tell my laser line profilers where the other sensor is so their profile data can be combined correctly. So now if I go in and place my finger in between the sensors, and show both the top and the bottom profiles, you can see it's being combined correctly. I can also open up my active area since I don't need to limit it anymore. Well, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and perform some surface scans. I have some fun parts here that I can scan. Here we've scanned a golf ball. And I'm displaying the data, the surface data now, from both the top and the bottom sensor. I can select to only show data from the top or data from the bottom. I like to show them combined. And again, the data is combined correctly because of the alignment process that I went through. I'm also acquiring intensity data, by the way, so I can overlay that as well. And this lets you read some of the text on the golf ball that you wouldn't get if you were just looking at the 3D data. All right, so that's pretty fun. Let's scan another part. A little, this is a little horse figurine. And again, the data from the top and the bottom sensor is being combined correctly. If we switch from mesh mode to point visualization, we can zoom in and see all the data that the sensors are capturing and then combining.
So that's great and all. Let's go ahead and scan our actual part that we care about measuring. Here's our battery. And next we can go ahead and set up some measurement tools. So in the measure tab in my tool list, you'll see all the different tools that are available. We're going to use a few of these to measure the height of our battery right in the middle. Let's go ahead and fit a plane to the bottom of our battery and get a reference surface. We're going to use a tool called Surface Plane Advanced. We'll have it look at the bottom surface and we can reduce the area somewhat as well as filter out the high and low points to get a more repeatable measurement. And there's our plane that's best fit to the bottom of the battery. That gives us one reference surface. Now let's go ahead and use other tools to find a point on the top of the battery. We'll do this in two steps. First, we'll find a circle using the surface circular edge tool. We'll change some of these parameters. There we are. Now we're getting a good circle fit on the OD of that battery, finding the center as well. Here are the X and Y coordinates of the center of the battery. And then we can use a surface position tool to get the height of the battery or to get a point uh, along the top of that battery. And we're going to anchor this to the center of our circle. So under anchoring, we'll link to the X and Y value from our previous tool. And we can hard code values for the size of that region. Let's make it a small little region, about four millimeters by four millimeters, centered again off the center of that circle. And instead of calculating the max Z value, let's go ahead and get the median. That's gonna give us a point in the center of that battery when I select the top surface only. So we have a point on the top of the battery and we can use another tool to get the distance from that point to the plane on the other side of the battery. That'll be the last step here in our demo. We'll use feature dimension and reference our point and our plane. And we care about the distance. In this case, it's 67 millimeters from the top of the battery to the bottom. And if we run this again, we would expect that measurement to be very consistent, uh, repeatable down to one or two microns. So that's the end of the demo. Thank you for watching.